The scientific endeavour works at the boundary of the known and unknown, so our work is to illuminate that unknown to bring benefits to humanity. Failure and uncertainty are two never-changing aspects of research. The spirit of science is to keep an open mind and to see where the biology leads you. I hope that Singapore becomes the Silicon Valley of the East. I want kids in Singapore to grow up and see that STEM can be a path to success. Gastric cancer is one of the most common cancers in Singapore and there is still no novel treatment for it. We were the first to isolate human gastric stem cells and we found that gastric stem cells are indeed the source of gastric cancer. When we can isolate these stem cells, we can put them in a dish, grow them into mini organs called organoids. This allows us better understanding how these stem cells behave and further research will open up doors to new therapies. And one of these possibilities is that we could genetically modify the organoids in the dish and put them back in patients to restore damaged stomach linings. We live in an age where more and more data is collected all the time. As biologists, we need to leverage the expertise of our computer scientists in order to analyse this data and make sense of them. I think basic research is very important to build the foundation for translational research in years to come. Our ultimate goal is to identify these cancers themselves in order to stop the cancers from growing. DNA is the blueprint of life. It encodes what we are. When there are aberrations in DNA, it can cause uh, devastating genetic diseases. MindLab has recently developed a new technology to make pinpoint changes in the genome. We are the first to show the use of CRISPR-Cas9 for disease gene correction, particularly for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a severe muscle wasting disease. This is significant because it now opens up treatment avenues to tackle diseases that afflict multiple organs within the body. CRISPR-Cas is a tremendously important breakthrough, hence we have developed new technologies that enable us to make CRISPR-Cas to be safe and efficient for use. Nucleic acid therapeutics are game-changing therapeutics that enable us to rewrite DNA and RNA to cure previously unaddressable diseases. We are working towards a future where nucleic acid therapeutics can be taken as routine medicines. So my research lies at the intersection of medicine and engineering. We work in the field of bioelectronics, uh, which tries to think about ways to use electronics as a type of medicine. So one breakthrough that we've accomplished in our lab is to actually build smart textiles that can interact with wireless signals around us every day. So the way we accomplish this is by using special structures of conductive textiles called metamaterials that can actually trap signals that would otherwise radiate into the space around you uh, and make them actually glide along the surface on your body instead. So with this sort of connectivity, we're able to communicate with multiple devices. This could be used for healthcare applications to monitor patients in the hospital, or for athletic applications to see how athletes perform. So in partnership with Tomasic, we've been applying these wireless technologies in the fight against COVID. We've developed a system that could be deployed in foreign worker dormitories island-wide to wirelessly capture data from Bluetooth-enabled pulse oximeters. So this allows us to relieve the risk and burden on the healthcare workers. One of the remarkable things about Singapore is just the amount of trust they put into young scientists. So to me, STEM is the idea of play. It's the way we understand and shape the world around us. As a mother, I lean very heavily on my family for support. Without them, I won't be able to pursue my career and drive science the way I want to. This award allows us a platform to reach a wider audience to join us in the effort of creating the next generation of medicines. If I look out into the world and I ask myself, where is the best place to make my mark, Singapore is that place.